Hey tech fans, glad to see you guys back here once again on our YouTube channel here at Tech of Tomorrow. Now, check it out. We all know that mobile technology is the most popular stuff on the planet. Everybody wants the latest and greatest stuff, and we happen to be fulfilling your appetite today with the Sony Xperia Z. This is their brand new smartphone that's come onto the market. It's about $799 right now. Hasn't even really come out in the United States for contracts, but it'll be coming soon. So let's start off and we'll do the unboxing. So here's the box right here. You guys can see the front of it. I don't believe there's really much to the back of it. Just talks about their Bravia Engine 2, their X-Armor RS technology, Opti Contrast panel, has Wi-Fi certified full 1080. That's right, we'll talk about that a little bit more. So now let's start the unboxing. So let's go ahead and remove the top. Let's get the phone out of here. Now, we get this plastic packaging off the back. I think it's around the whole thing. Okay, let's go ahead and get all this stuff off of here. And then I'm gonna start talking about some of the features. Let's go ahead and just pull all this stuff out. And now let me hold it up to the camera. So you guys can see right off the bat, this thing has a five inch full HD reality, 1920 by 1080 screen, 440 pixels per inch density. Features a Snapdragon S4 1.5 gigahertz quad core processor and the Adreno 320 GPU. Also features two gigabytes of internal memory. Now, on the back, there's a 13 megapixel camera that features their Exmor RS technology mobile sensor. They also have a lot of technology in this phone for HDR and all kinds of stuff, so this thing can double up not only as a phone, but as a video and photo camera all in one. A lot of phones out there do this, but these guys are really, really pushing this quite a bit. On the side here, we can see the control buttons. Flip it around the bottom. Kind of interesting right here, we have all this thing charges and everything. The battery that's in it as well, is not removable. The battery that's in it is just the way that it is. Now let's talk about some of the other features as far as taking pictures and video. This camera offers true screen intelligence, which is the mobile Bravia 2 engine. Offers real-time contrast controls to the sharpness enhancement. You get better video noise reduction when streaming low quality video and an improved new sharpness filter that increases the overall detail level in the image. The image is very bright and can be seen in broad daylight with the brightness set to maximum, but you don't want to do this with the sun reflecting off your phone because, you know, with direct sunlight on it, you're not going to be able to see it. That's all there is to it. As far as connectivity goes, we get ultra fast LTE 4G connectivity. They also have something from Sony called One Touch Connectivity that features backup, mirroring, one touch listening and sharing, all from a single touch between the various devices. Now let's go on and let's see some of the rest of the stuff that comes in the box. We'll go ahead and pull it out. They actually give you a screen, so you get your protection screen and all that stuff. It's inside of here, so you don't have to go out and actually buy a separate one. You also have the cloth in there to polish your lovely phone up. Back and front. So you get protection for both back and front, which is kind of cool. Not bad at all. There's also a little thing right here too. If you guys can see this, this little thing right here is part of that one touch connectivity that I talked about. You're gonna be putting up to your other devices and then kabing, away you go. So let's see what else is in the box. Go ahead and open it up. We get the Sony startup guide for the Xperia Z, the model numbers. Another thing, it says important information. Here we get the charger, the USB. Go ahead and just take this stuff out of here. Here are the headphones. I haven't actually had a chance to listen to these headphones yet, but I have heard really good things about them. Is that a pun? I don't know, but uh, I just heard that these things sound really good. I'll actually get to that as well later on. But there are the headphones, with all their controller and everything right there. Comes with extra ear pads. Charger will be plugged into this. 
Now you guys are going to notice something right off the bat. It's got the European plug in there. This was the European version of the phone. Well, let's go over here and let's look where the charger goes. All right, folks, so when I noticed that I couldn't see anything very easily when I tried to plug in, you know, obviously the charger, I went back and I read the manual kind of before I could even see the headphone jack. Everything in this phone, to be honest with you, at this point, as far as this goes, I think is a pain in the ass. Honestly, you got to pick all this stuff off, pop all of it off. I'm not too happy with it. So right here on top, here's your headphone jack. Right side of the phone, micro SD. Left hand side, micro USB, memory. So all I gotta do is basically plug this in. And once you plug this in, and you can see if I'm trying to plug in, this thing keeps wanting to flap into it. This is totally, totally not user friendly. I'm not digging this at all. Something I am not liking. So that's how you plug it in. So beyond that, let's go ahead. I'll go ahead and put this stuff and all its seal stuff back. And even resealing it is actually kind of a pain in the butt. It's not all that user friendly. I mean, it works, but not too happy with it. So now here we see the phone on. So you guys can see the screen. We've got no service and everything. You guys can go in here to your settings screen to make all your changes. So you guys can see all that stuff throughout there. Very, very similar since it's running Jelly Bean. It's very, very similar to actually any of the Samsung phones at this point. Very, very similar to what's going on. Looks like we got something going on here. Volume control. Here's the volume to full blast. And you guys can see the clarity of video on here is really excellent. Now, some of the problems I've been hearing about is that the contrast on this is a little odd and depending on the angle and how you look at it, it's kind of a little bit wacky. If you're looking at it straight on, it looks really good. They're probably working on this kind of technology. I also heard that there are some issues with some of the software, but overall, I mean, come on, it's a brand new phone. So boom, kablammy, and away we go out of that. So all right, folks, I mean, that is pretty much it. I'm going to polish this thing up since it's got some more fingerprints on it than uh, anything else I've ever seen in the world. Clean that phone up there. Not doing very good there, but uh, go ahead and just set that down, show you guys all the stuff that comes in it. If you guys like this video, make sure you guys hit that like button and let me know it. If you're not subscribed to Tech of Tomorrow, please make sure you do so because we bring you all the tech all the time. See you guys later.